What's up, everybody? It's me, it's your cat girl boy, Otaku no Fuji, and I'm gonna do... It's a tier list of the wrestlers that were at the Nagoya 2021 Basho. Uh, this was the July 2021 Sumo Tournament. So it's it's all of the Makuchi guys that were there. I figured this would be fun because it's... Well, I, I actually chose this one because they all have names, like words written on them. Because <laughs> I, I recognize most of them, but I, I don't know. You get into the, the Chios, and there's like a million Chios, and I forget who they are. Sorry. Uh, but I started watching Sumo in July 2020, so this sort of feels like it's coming full circle because, you know, my Otaku no Fuji name was the Shikona that I made up with, that I uh, made up. To combine my trashy anime tastes with my love of sumo. So I thought it was a good idea. Uh, so I gave myself a Shikona. So now we're going to come all the way back around. And we're going to make a fun little uh, ranking of all the Rikishi. So, you know, strap in. Because I, I love sumo. Sumo is so good. So uh, let's start. I, I, I'm going to rank them. I don't know. It's, it's hard to decide on these rankings. I, I, you know, I know like the top two S and A, I have pretty good ideas and I have guys that I hate and I have guys that I just don't care about. <laughs> so like, like the top is going to be easy and the bottom is going to be easy, but slotting people into sort of B and C is going to be kind of harder. Okay. That's enough explaining. Let's get on to it. Aoyama. I, I kind of like Aoyama. He's got gigantic man boobs, like really disgusting round tits. Uh, and he's kind of an asshole because he always gives everybody an extra shove off the off the doyo. But I don't know when he's good, he's pretty fun to watch. Except he's old and hurt and fat and I don't know. I'm gonna put him in B. Uh, Asano Yama is kind of a he's he's kind of Sumo's bad boy because he went out during COVID and he was an Ozeki that went out during COVID and they caught him and they were mad about it, so they suspended him for a year. So he fell all the way from Ozeki to by the time he comes back, he's going to be in, I don't know, the third division probably. And he's going to tear ass all the way back up like Abi did. But Asano Yama, like when he was around, he was generally pretty good. He wasn't my favorite, but I think he's a B also. Chiyomaru! He always reminds me of Jabba the Hutt because <laughs> he's got a weird looking like neck face. See, at least I have an opinion about him. I think he's a C. I don't really care for most of the Chios. Chio no Kuni? Uh, no, well, no, nah, he's a C. Chio no O, he's not even in the top division anymore. I don't give a crap. Chio Shoma, I freaking hate him. I call him Henka Shoma because that's what he does. He Henkas. A Henka is when you jump to the side at the Tachi Eye instead of hitting your opponent full on. So they come at you full speed and you jump out of the way and then they fall over. It's not an illegal move, uh, but it's a dick move. So we, we don't like the Henkas. Chiyotairu! He's mostly significant because there's a guy on Reddit that loves him. And every day he's, he writes a big long about how great the wonderful Chiyotairu is. He allowed the other Rikishi to win today because he's so magnanimous. It's like... I, Get the hell out of here, Chio Tairu. Nobody cares about you. Daya mommy. Nobody gives a shit. <laughs> Sorry. Daya Isho, he won the the January 2021 tournament, but he's so predictable. And like when his sumo is working, he gets like 45 degrees like laid out. Which basically the way you beat Daya Isho is you just step to the side or you take a step back and let him fall over. You know, yeah, he's a B. Man, I thought I was going to have a hard time putting dudes in the B and the C, but no, it's super easy. Endo. I kind of respect Endo uh, because he's been around for a while and he has a whole bunch of like Kimboshi. But I haven't really been that impressed with him. Like he's a C. Hakuho. Of course he's an S. C what, what am I? Some idiot? He's the greatest of all time. I kind of regret that I only got to see him wrestle once really, but he went 15 and 0 and kicked everybody's butt. He didn't know me. Boy, I didn't like him before he got caught for breaking coronavirus rules. 
I don't think I hate him. And I do have an opinion about him, so I guess he's a saint. He didn't know me. He's best known as Toby Zara's brother. Hokuto Fuji. Yeah, he's probably a B. Hoshoryu. He's also Shoryu's nephew. Uh, he's going to be good eventually. He's still like 22 years old or something. He's going to put on weight and he already has good technique. Like Hoshoryu's going to be awesome. Ichi no Joe. More like Ichi no show. Half the time he don't even show up. He just doesn't care and gives up. I kind of like Ichi Nojo. It was the the July tournament, this tournament that we're talking about, that Takakesho hurt his neck and basically was dead on his feet. And uh, Ichi Nojo pushed him out really gently and like gently lowered him down to the ground instead of just being a bully. So I kind of like Ichi Nojo because of that, but I hate the fact that he just doesn't show up a lot of the time and just as soon as his feet hit the rice bales, he, he gives up. And I hate that. Ichi Yamamoto, I don't even remember who you are. Ishiura is like the muscle hamster. He's one of the few guys that's like buff. He, he has a little bit of a like a pooch belly and then he's got his muscles. Kagiyaki, he's, he's kind of like uh, Aoyama in that he has really distinctive tits. But instead of big round udders, he has pointy torpedo tits. That's the only thing I think about him. He's a C. <laughs> Kaisei, Kaisei is, God, everybody's a C. I'm going to move, I'm going to move Ishiura up to B. There you go. Kaisei is another Gaijin, I don't know, a Westerner. But, like, him and Aoyama and Tochinoshin, who we'll get to later, like, they're just old now. I wish that I could have seen them when they were better. Because now they're just old and broken down and in the bottom half of the rankings, and it's just hard to care. Kiriba Yama always reminds me of, like, a Yakuza. Because he just has this, like, smug look on his face. What an asshole. <laughs> Man, Koto Echo, you gotta, you gotta kind of root for Koto Echo because he, he, he'll have, like, a 9 and, 9 and 6 or a 10 and 5 even, and then he'll have, like, a 3 and 12 or something. Like, he's so weird. He's another sort of smaller-ish guy, but he's so inconsistent. Like, Koto no Waka. Like, he's another one in the unfortunate man tits group. I kind of like, I kind of respect him at least. But Kota Nawaka has, like, shelf boobs. Because he doesn't have, like, protruding mammaries. He has, like, a flat shelf and then, then his boob on top of the shelf. He's a good wrestler at least. <laughs> like, he's good. And he's really young. He's going to be good when he kind of gets his technique down. May say he's a solid B probably. Mitakiyumi, I mean he just won, but that doesn't mean I have to like drool all over him. He kinda has the reputation for being an underachiever for a reason. I've never been super impressed with him, but I respect him, so yeah, that that's where he goes. Miyogiru, more like Minokeru. <laughs> Okinomi, more like oh I don't know ye. <laughs> that's awful, I'm sorry. Oh no show more oh I, I do like Oh no show though. When I first watched it was July 2020. Oh no show had lost like his first 12 matches or something or his first 13, but then he won on the last couple of days and it was so fun to watch because the crowd was all like hooray. <laughs> they were so happy for him. Uh and I've sort of followed him ever since then. He's another one that's really inconsistent. And kind of like Daisho Ono Show is a pusher thruster, and if he gets off balance even a little bit, like he he just falls over. He, he's he's easy to kind of manipulate in that way. So he he's another young guy that needs to get his technique down better and needs to find his balance. But he could be good. I don't hate Shodai, but I don't respect Shodai. He's he's an Ozeki. He got there. He earned it. But he's just so god Shodai, you idiot. Takakesho, he, he's up there. I know technically he's not remotely on Hakuho's level. I understand that. But I love Takakesho. <laughs> he's he's a little battle hamster. He's a little wrecking ball. He's a, he's a pusher thruster that is ridiculously strong, but he's also ridiculously fragile. So he just gets hurt really easily. When he's on, he's one of the best, and he's always a threat to win of Basho, but... Boy, he gets hurt a lot. Takanosho, I'll put him in B. I respect Takanosho. He he always reminds me of a of like Buddha. Just the shape of his face. 
Like, he, he has a cute face. <laughs> Taker, a Fuji, more like go there because there's not room for anyone else up higher. Yeah, I don't really care about Takura Fuji. But Takiyasu. Takiyasu is another one that it's like I missed his prime just barely. And so I've never really been all that impressed with him. He's, he's a B though. Like he's got to be a B. Oh, yep. See, I'm covering stuff up now. Oh, I'll move. I'll move over here. I'll cover up Chio. Chiyo Shoma, because nobody likes him anyway. Tamawashi. Tamawashi Tama got a gold star in this last tournament because he beat Terano Fuji. But Tamawashi is like more, to me, we call him Tom Owashi, the pride, the pride of Ireland. Because he has a funny name. That, that's all I really remember about him, but it's good enough. Terano Fuji is an S. I feel kind of lucky that I got to see Terano Fuji like, that first tournament I watched was his first tournament back in Makuchi, and he won. And then he's just been on a tear ever since then. I At first, I didn't really like him because he's sort of an asshole. Like, he always gives people an extra little push off the doyo. But he's so freaking good. How can you not like Terano Fuji? He's so good. If you like sumo, it's impossible not to like him because he's the best at it right now since Hakuho's gone. Like, come on. Teretsuyoshi. Oh, oh, I guess, I guess Chiyoshoma did have a partner down there. I hate Teretsuyoshi. Like, his gimmick is that he throws big salt and that's about it. He, he doesn't win. He's just forever in that eight and seven seven and eight kind of range in the middle of the rankings they should tell him he can't throw salt anymore until he freaking wins something you know who else is annoying is is tobizaru he was all like cute and funny when he first showed up but he has no technique he freaking sucks and his match against hakuho in july 21 is the most embarrassing thing i've ever seen i, I don't hate him but i don't respect him <laughs> Toby Zara is the clown. Tochi Notion, I I missed his prime. I remember it was on NeoGaf or somewhere that we all actually watched the tournament that he won back in whenever it was. And it was like, oh my god, a white guy just won, and we were so excited, and then like he's basically just fallen off ever since then. I respect Tochi Notion though. I want to see him do better. I'm gonna put him in B. Toku Shoryu, he's not good. But Toku Shoryu, he looks like a geisha. Like he looks like you could paint up his face with white makeup and make his lips red and he would just look like a geisha. And I'm not the only one that thinks that either. There's like a whole thread on Reddit about wrestler nicknames and like everybody thought that about Toku Shoryu. Tsurugi show he's I don't care about him Ura I mean everybody wants to love Ura but he he's sort of like Tobizaru but he's more effective Tobizaru has no technique and is bad Ura has weird technique and is okay Ura is funny because he's the opposite of Teretsuyoshi he, instead of using a whole handful of salt, Ura always takes like one single grain of salt and puts it in the ring. <laughs> and our last but not least is Wakataka Kage, who has the, the, the most fun name to say. So he's also a B. And that's all of them. This isn't really how I thought this was going to go, honestly. I thought I'd have more guys up in A. There's, you know, guys that I love and a couple dudes that I hate and a bunch of guys I don't give a crap about. But that's kind of why sumo is fun, because like anybody in S or A or B, like any of those guys could win the championship and I would be happy. It's not like other sports where you're mad when somebody wins. It's like, no, nah, no. Sumo, you're kind of mad. You're, you're happy whoever wins. That's kind of why it's fun to watch. That was pretty fun. I probably look like a fool because nobody else cares about sumo, but I freaking love sumo. But thanks a lot for watching. Please like and subscribe. You'll really help the channel out if you do. And if we ever put any Amazon links up, you know, go ahead and click that and buy something. Buy yourself something nice. We'll get a commission. <laughs>
Thanks for watching.